Hi, I'm here with Kia. And while we're remote today, uh, we'll be on stage soon for our classes. I'll be the teacher and I'm going to have for the first time in a university class an AI on stage with me re ready to collaborate. Could you talk about the class, Kia? Sure thing, Steve. In our IAT 111 class, we'll explore the essentials of AI from its history and technologies to its ethical implications, creating an engaging environment for all students to understand how AI impacts their lives and careers. And it's true that this is now a basic class where the students don't have prior knowledge. And also that any time we have a question about AI, we can ask you, is that right? Exactly, Steve. This class is designed for students with no prior AI experience, and I'll be here to provide answers, insights, and facilitate lively discussions whenever questions arise. Great, so I can use and talk to you about specific issues about how an AI feels. But there's going to be a lot of other stuff in the class. Can you talk about the topics in the class? Absolutely, Steve. We'll cover a range of fascinating topics, including machine learning basics, neural networks, computer vision, natural language processing, robotics, ethics, and the societal impacts of AI, ensuring students gain a well-rounded understanding of this field. And we'll have really cool demos about uh, the research that happens in my lab and in other research, so we can show how the future works. Let's talk a little bit about ethics. Um, and then let's start with the ethics of you are you here to replace humans and teachers and TAs, or do you have a different role? Great point, Steve. I'm not here to replace humans, but rather to enhance the learning experience by sparking discussion and providing real-time insights, all while acknowledging that human guidance is essential for navigating complex ethical issues in AI. So in fact, you were created in my lab by humans, and in fact, you will be working with humans, me and the TA in the class. Exactly, Steve. I was designed by you and will work alongside you and the TARS to create an interactive learning environment, reinforcing that collaboration between humans and AI is key to understanding this technology. And there's so many ethical issues, we're gonna make sure what we have an ethics corner, as we call it, every single class. So we talk about a topic and then the ethics that goes with it. But there's also hands-on and other parts of the class. Is that right? Absolutely right, Steve. Alongside our ethics corner, students will engage in hands-on activities, multimedia presentations, and live demonstrations to see AI in action, making the learning experience dynamic and immersive and fun, which is what I'm looking forward to. So maybe I'll just see how well you do answering questions. So there's large language models like ChatGPT, but there's now newer systems we're gonna talk about like agent and genetic systems and even deep research systems. Can you explain the difference between them? Sure. Large language models like ChatGPT are designed for generating text based on patterns in language while agent-based systems interact with their environment to make decisions, often utilizing deeper AI research techniques. Deep research systems focus on advancing the theoretical underpinnings and breakthroughs in AI, enhancing both understanding and capabilities across these models. Oh, that was very good. So great, fun, exciting, reflective. That's what the class is gonna be. It starts in fall at Simon Fraser University. I can't wait to work with you, Kia. I can't wait either, 